Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this video titled Absolute Value. And the goal for this video is to be able to find the absolute value of a number. Now before we begin this video, you will need to get out your math journal and a pencil. Now let's take a look at the definition of absolute value. You'll want to write this down in your math journal. If you need to pause the video or write it down, that is completely fine. So absolute value is the number's distance from zero on a number line. For example, the absolute value of negative three is three because it is three units from zero. So we can see negative three, one, two, three. Absolute value is three. So the absolute value of negative three is written as negative three. And we can see there's two lines a line in the front and the line in the back of the number as well as you write it for absolute value. Now let's take a look at the absolute value of these different numbers. So we have the absolute value of two. So once again, whenever you see a line in front and a line in back, that means absolute value. So you're trying to find the absolute value of two and we find two on the number line and we note it it is one, two places from zero on the number line. So we can see that the absolute value of two is two. Now we have negative 34. Now I know negative 34 is not on this number line, but we know that negative 34 is 34 places away from zero on the number line. So the absolute value of negative 34 is 34. Now a key tip that you can see is that absolute value no matter if the original number is a negative or a positive number, the absolute value is always positive. It's never a negative number. So you can see absolute value of negative 34, just drop that negative symbol and it's positive 34. Absolute value of negative 345, once again, you just basically drop that negative sign in front negative 345, the absolute value is 345, which means it is 345 units away from zero on a number line. What is the absolute value of 78? What I would like you to, to do now is write the absolute value of 78 in your math journal, and when you're finished, I'll have the answer for you. So I'd like you to pause the video now. So, the answer absolute value of 78 is 78. So again, absolute value is always a positive number. So let's take a look at this topic in a real world context. So we have four different people in their distance traveled. So we can see that Archie dove 34 feet into the ocean. Eddie climbed 124 feet. Sarah dove 256 feet in the ocean. You can see when they're diving down, it's represented by negative numbers. And when they're climbing, it's represented by positive numbers. So Cindy climbed 145 feet. Now let's say we wanted to compare the distance traveled amongst these different people. So we can see that Archie dove 34 feet, and we know that Sarah dove 256 feet both represented by negative numbers. However, if we're comparing the amount of feet traveled by these two different people, we can see that negative 34, the absolute value of negative 34 would be less than the absolute value of negative 256. Absolute value of negative 34 is 34. Absolute value of negative 256 is 256. Once again, you can see with a negative number, absolute value, you just drop that negative number and that is, or that negative symbol, and that is the absolute value. Now let's say we are comparing the amount of distance Eddie traveled compared to the amount of distance Cindy traveled. So we can see Eddie traveled 124 feet, Cindy 145 feet. We know that the absolute value of 145 is greater than 124, so we could say the 120, absolute value of 124 is less than the absolute value of 145. Now let's compare the amount that Sarah traveled compared to the distance that Cindy traveled. So we can see Sarah dove down 256 feet, represented by negative 256. Cindy 145 feet, represented by positive 145. And we can see that the greatest distance traveled is Sarah, 
who dove 256 feet, and we know that because the absolute value of negative 256 is 256. Absolute value of 145 is 145. So this concludes the video on absolute value. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.